Also this morning, new details in the Stewart Health saga. The company's CEO now refusing to testify about the system's bankruptcy before a Senate committee. And it comes on the same day a judge approved the sale of six Stewart hospitals. NBC 10's Manash Kwamgari live outside of St. Elizabeth Medical Center in Brighton this morning. Manash, state lawmakers want him held responsible. And by him, we're talking about Ralph De La Torre, who currently holds the title of steward healthcare chief. Through his attorney, he says it would be, quote, wholly inappropriate to testify before his company's bankruptcy proceedings are resolved. He was subpoenaed about a couple months ago by the Senate Health, Education, Labor, and Pensions Committee, which I should mention had not issued a subpoena to a potential witness to testify since 1981. The committee, headed by by Senator Bernie Sanders of Vermont said the only reason they subpoenaed him is because he turned down multiple invitations to appear voluntarily. But as it relates to those bankruptcy proceedings, a federal judge overseeing the case approved the sale of six Stewart hospitals yesterday. Take a look at your screen. The Holy Family Hospitals in Methuen and Haverhill to Lawrence General Hospital for $28 million. St. Anne's Hospital in Fall River and Morton Hospital in Taunton to Lifespan for $175 million. And then Good Samaritan Medical Center and St. Elizabeth's Medical Center have been taken over by the Boston Medical Center for about $140 million. Stewart's other two hospitals in Ayer and Dorchester were actually closed on Saturday. De La Torre did not rule out the possibility of testifying before Congress. Eventually, his representation just asked for a more appropriate date. Right now, we're live here in Brighton. Manash Kongwari, NBC10 Boston.